Well, this started, as far as I was concerned, in 1938, and I was going courting at the time, and a friend of my wife's family, an elderly gentleman there, was very interested in your horoscope and, and things like that, but also in the Bible. And he mentioned to me about the lion and unicorn in the book of Genesis. I don't know that I took much interest in that at the time. War broke out six years, Middle East and up in the islands. And when I came out of the army, I became aware that uh, Russia, also mentioned by this uh, old chappy, that Russia was now allied against us rather than with us over the breaking up of Berlin and Germany generally. And uh, this interested me. So I went along to a, an afternoon, a Sunday afternoon rally where these things were discussed from the Bible. We hadn't been interested in that before. So over a period of 12 months, we looked into the Bible prophecy. And we became aware, of course, and when I say we, our family became involved, and we took up a whole seat in the theatre there, listening every Sunday afternoon. And we heard about the Bible and uh, prophecy and the nations and the Jewish people going back to Palestine. This was before they'd gone back. And uh, we became very interested. And then, at some stage, after about 12 months, we became aware that these people also spoke of an experience. We started to drift away a bit in our thinking at that stage. We didn't mind the intellectual stuff, you see. But when it came to an experience, we were a little bit daunted by the thought of that. However, I went to a meeting one night, and out of the blue was filled with the Holy Spirit. As far as I was concerned, uh, I was cornered, I was trapped. I'd uh, always chatted with ministers, acquaintances and so on, but uh, nothing like this had ever been put to us. So my little testimony is, and it's the same I'm sure as many others listening and watching, is that um, someone spoke to me, I picked up one way and another the fact that there was a wonderful experience, it's called in the Bible receiving or being filled with the Holy Spirit, and I find now as we look back through the pages of the Bible, there isn't anything else to be filled with. This is it. And it's their book to be filled with the Holy Ghost and fire or to be confirmed by the power of God. This happened to me, and that's my original testimony. Of course, we, we all praise the Lord for the day we were filled with the Holy Ghost and fire.